friends <coughs> all around the world this is FX Passion broadcasting you live on YouTube and this is Forex Trading Course 101 remember we are ending the beginner module this week and we are trying to build the three pillars the strategy and our system the risk management and the psychology we are trying to understand how psychology works and talking about psychology what we must learn as beginners everybody is that I'm not going to live and die on a trade by trade basis and of course this is a quote from Mark Douglas and remember 90% of traders lose money in the forex market worldwide and the webinars are not trading or investment advice everybody the webinars are for the educational purposes only and if you have questions or you want to send the homework you can you have my gmail contact my skype contact and linkedin contact and before we go to the charts everybody please take my advice when i'm telling you some of you are sending me questions from the basic module you know i don't I, i'm sorry you know I'm not, it's not that i don't want to help you but I'm sorry but I don't have time everybody so if you send me a, a question about the beginner module maybe yes okay I'm going to answer to you but talking about the basic module that's why we are telling you every time if you don't understand what is happening if you don't understand how we connect the dots please go back to the Ducascope YouTube webinar page and start to watch the lesson starting from lesson number one right and if you don't understand watch the same lesson over and over again because it's too much information there you cannot expect everybody that you are going to know and understand everything just because you watch the webinar one time hello Vincent how are you hello Miguel hello King hello Salbakti hello Akos hello Christian and hello Zuelius how is everybody so what we're going to talk about today is entries and equity management everybody tell me a currency pair that you want tell me a currency pair that you want please don't send euro dollar again tell me some other currency pair hello MHB boss everybody type in the chat the currency pair that you want that we analyze and we are going to talk about entries and equity management first comes first is served remember I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat so today we are going to talk about entries and equity management and we are going to do the whole analysis on the pair so we are going to start with the monthly weekly daily and then Ako says AUD USD. Okay, so let's go on AUD USD. AUD AUD USD. Great. Okay, so we're going to start. We are going to start from the monthly chart. AUD cat Salbakti. I'm sorry. Akos was Akos was first. So we have the upper band, right? We have the upper band and stroke and then we have the lower band I don't remember but I know it's not the lower band here right and Zuelius told me a trick thank you Zuelius so I need to go on chart and change the time frame to GMT right and it's going to appear more data so let's wait for the data there you go thank you Zuelius right so this is the smaller time this is the the lower band and the upper band namaste patak how are you the lower band and the upper band right and then i'm going to go back to settings preferences chart and i want my chart to be new york close okay there you go so i know that we have some space right hello any how are you okay so what is the long-term bias long-term bias is down and market structure you know extension retracement extension retracement extension whoops extension retracement extension right okay 
transparency and we are here right now so the long-term bias is down what is the market doing short term low volume Patak, let me let me see low volume is it better is it better Patak? let me check the settings here is it better Patak? low volume testing testing one two three yes better okay great and what else we're going to do well we are at some pivot point right we learned about pivot points in the previous lessons and we learned about support resistance levels right so this is going to be one this is going to be the second one this is going to be the third one and here there you go not sure about this one yes maybe it is okay Add is okay yes okay everybody so this is the monthly chart right what else can we do we, we can we can draw some trend lines right so we can draw some trend lines starting from here okay this is one and let's enter into the chart or let's change transparency on this one so we have another one the long term starting from here something like this okay everybody I am shorting Akos you are too soon my friend you are entering too soon everybody Ace are you in the webinar Ace a lot of beginner traders everybody you are losing pips and money hopefully not them account because you are entering too soon you know and of course this is my opinion you know oh what do you know I'm short or I'm wrong or whatever okay no problem you know as we are saying to you you can accept what we are telling you you can reject what we are telling you no problem so this is AOD AOD is the monthly chart now we are going to clone the chart and you are going to go on the weekly chart right and from the weekly chart everybody what else can we do well we have the pivot points pivot points are areas right and we can draw an uptrend line right there you go everybody we were talking about yesterday right about the problem with timing right so everybody thank you Akos for being honest everybody who is already short what do you think are you did you enter prematurely everybody and my Fibonacci dog is saying yes <laughs> it's it's barking yes everybody what do you think if you shorted the market thank you Akos for being honest if you shorted the market already what, what, what do you think did you enter prematurely and remember we are talking about candlestick formations everybody and this is the weekly chart everybody what do you think no sign of short yet well I don't know I need to check the daily and the one hour two hour chart but everybody what did you learn from yesterday about candlestick formations what did you learn if this is the if and we're talking about entries today if this is the weekly chart and the higher time frame controls the smaller time frames what do you think and we are talking about probabilities what do you think the market is going to do in the short term on the weekly chart do you think it's going to push down or do you think it's going to push up everybody 
Now remember when we are going to lose everybody as beginner traders because our bias, our direction is correct but our timing is maybe wrong you know now this market is going to is going to fall short bec because of a few reasons so reason number one reason number one in the short term if this is the retracement extension leg everybody if this is the down retracement extension leg right if this is the down retracement extension lag then the market sooner or later it must it must retrace right it must make a retracement very much premature in decision candle even short and time frame charts are not showing shorting sign okay everybody I don't know we're going to check together but at least Akos is honest you know there are a lot of traders quiet and oh I I, I, I I short again but I'm going to be quiet you know don't worry everybody don't be shy we are here to learn okay so this market is going to fall for a ver variety of reasons reason number one we have a down bias down structure you know but the market made a higher high here you know this was a high and this was a higher high just for a few pips and if this is the first down retracement extension leg then the market it must it must retrace you know it must retrace it must so Akos and everybody else who is shorting the market right now you know this market is going to fall and then it's speculation or it's going to do it's going to retrace more you know or maybe it's going to fall back down and continue the next extension of the down structure but you know this is speculation right now but trading what you see everybody if you entered on the I, I don't know we're going to check together but if you entered on the weekly chart the weekly candle is bullish And it says short is premature, the weekly candle show us long at this moment. You know? Akos, does this make sense to you, everybody? What we are talking about? The market it is going to fall. Maybe tomorrow, you know, we have the news out of United States tomorrow but in the same way that maybe it's going to push down it can push up and we that entered prematurely are going to lose and this is everybody a trading mistake okay when you finish the 101 course you must not make this kind of mistakes here anymore okay Ako says yes great so we are going to go, we are going to move from the weekly to the daily and clone the chart going to the daily and together what else can we do well on the daily we can follow the short term trend right so we can follow high low high low high low high low high low and high you know and again this is the this is the daily you know and what else can we can we do right now if we would enter every now I see what I see why Akos may be short the market because we have a bearish candlestick formation right now what else can we do? We can we can adjust our uptrend line to be more specific. We can adjust our uptrend line like this, you know. And what else can we do? Well, we can draw another one, something like this, 
right? Maybe not the perfect one. I must not break any candles. Okay. So the market made a higher high, right? And again, if you if you see everybody, if you see the yellow line, and if you see the red line, so the market again, the market is going to the market is going to retrace sooner or later because the market in order to wave in order in order the market to wave it must retrace right but what is the problem here we have a pro we have a technical challenge okay a technical challenge is everybody that and maybe this is the this is new stuff for some of you the technical challenge is that this bearish candle you know this bearish candle is on the other side of the downtrend line this bearish candle is on the other side of the trend line and what else the concept that we were teaching you is that I'm not going to sell Aquas and everybody else, I'm not going to sell bearish candlestick formations in an uptrend. So sometimes you say, Oh, passion, but you are rude, you know. I'm not rude, I'm being honest. This is where many of you, or some of you, you know, you are not listening. You know, so okay maybe oh but i'm an advanced trader then okay you know that this is going to be a short term pullback you know this this could be a short term pullback right but if you're a beginner trader don't sell we are not there yet we didn't learn how to trade retracement yet don't sell bearish candlestick formations in an uptrend Lennon, this is bullish move was retracement in the long term down structure. The short rate has high probability, but when do I enter? Great question, King. What do you think, everybody? My windows is slow. I'm struggling to respond on time. No problem. What do you think, everybody? The student King is saying the bullish move was retracement in the long term down. Where should I enter? And we learn about this, everybody. Right? Anyway, this is the daily chart. And yes, we do have, we do have long weeks on the upper side. And some of you are not listening. I explained to you that these weeks in an uptrend are not bearish okay and again you can accept what we're teaching you you can reject you know and please believe me everybody Akos and everybody else please believe me if you are entering this kind of trades and if it happens that you won you won by luck not because you are a good trader ow oh, this hurt right man this hurt me man everybody you are shorting an uptrend a candle that looks like it's bearish but it's really not and you won you know you are winning by luck everybody please accept what I'm telling you oh but this hurts you know but better that hurts that because what is going to happen you are going to win one but you are going to lose on the next one right and again of course you can reject what we are telling you you can accept what we are telling you no problem you know wait for the trend line break first wait for change in the short term trend salbakti yes sir where you should enter will be where are your probabilities are high yes victor can you be more specific Wait for the market to go down to the intermediate trend line wait for the counter trend line and enter long thank you Miguel but King wants to short the market so if you have a great answer Miguel but if you have a suggestion King wants to short the market 
and everybody also even if this was bearish candlestick formation okay in a downtrend you need to pay attention on the trend lines because we have a challenge and the challenge is that we are above the downtrend line and Zuelius is saying wait until market makes higher higher lows and lower highs breaks the counter trend and bearish candle okay so okay maybe the market's going to reverse we don't know yet looks like looks like it tried to go down but now it's pushing up right this is from the daily maybe you have different candles everybody if you have different time zones on the chart okay so and again everybody who want to short the market you are not wrong you know this market is going to pull back but maybe the timing is not right so we are going to jump from the from the daily chart to the one hour chart clone one hour chart right and then there you go we are going to we are going to from the beginning we are going to track extension retracement okay so remember that every time frame has its own structure okay so extension retracement extension retracement extension retracement most likely extension retracement and extension till the end so this was the last leg of extension right so we have an up structure on the one hour chart we have an up structure on the one hour chart and if you want to monitor the last highs and lows right so high low high low high low high low high low high low high not all of them but still okay right okay and what else can we do well on the one hour chart one hour chart this was the trend line so let's do it like this right okay so before we entered everybody as you can see the entry the entry you know was premature thanks a lot in traders I'm waiting for short term chain okay if you see this everybody right Aquas if you would if you want to learn at, at what price did you enter because as you can see everybody you had you we had a bearish candlestick formation on the one hour chart yes true or true we had a bearish candlestick formation on the one hour chart right and what's what's the challenge you know the challenge is well we were me and Akos we were shorting an uptrend if we shorted here we were shorting an uptrend and just because the market shows a bearish against the formation this doesn't mean that the market is going to fall King and everybody else okay oh the market is going to fall no no look at the monthly first the monthly it's still in a making but it's breaking the downtrend line and the candle is bullish oh but the market is going to fall no look at the weekly the weekly candle is bullish and it broke the downtrend line the market is going to fall no this is not a bearish candle you are in an uptrend the market didn't break the uptrend lines do you understand everybody how the thought process is going do you understand everybody if you this is a beginner mistake everyone 
you cannot check the one hour chart and jump the correct way of doing things and again you can reject what we are teaching you but if you ask me the correct way of doing things is check the monthly check the weekly check the daily and then make an educated decision what are you going to do on the one hour chart Akos says 0 0.00 so you are totally premature Akos you know as everybody says Annie and King and everybody else we, we didn't have anything on the one hour chart to tell us that the market is going to fall would you agree everybody and a, and a big thank you to Akos because he's being honest a lot of traders are just quiet you know everybody if you want to learn chat with us tell us what you think accept your losing trade accept that you are doing mistake this is all part of the process and it's okay you know if you are quiet and stubborn oh no you know uh, the, I know uh, this is just one trade otherwise I'm I'm winning you know not true Miguel agree Victor as beginners we have the tendency to expect the market to reverse there are more probabilities that a trend continues rather that it reverses MHB says agree I'm also learning from you my friend King Leno and everybody else so thank you too yes everybody so this entry was premature right now we know from the monthly weekly and the daily that this market is going to reverse right but we need to talk about timing right so the first entry was premature right and now we are here right okay and this is the one hour chart and now what else can we do well the market broke the aggressive uptrend line right and now what else can we do well if we think that this market is going to fall right but what is the problem well this candle is the problem right nonetheless everybody if you are an aggressive trader if you're an aggressive trader so rather than entering here so we're going to make a plan for the aggressive trader and with the conservative trader Christian is asking what is happening if we are at the mid of the month and the candlestick formation is not closed completely in two weeks could happen so many things the answer is Christian go to the weekly and to the daily and make your decision based on the weekly that it's closed great question Christian go to the weekly chart where you have a closed candle and make your decision based on the weekly and if it happens that we are in the middle of the month in the middle of the week go on the daily chart and make your decision based on the daily candle and we're talking about timing right so for the aggressive traders everybody if you're an aggressive trader you can draw a counter trend line like this okay and enter now one or two things are going to happen we know that this market is going to reverse but we don't know the time so or the market is going to make a <coughs> sorry about this make a <coughs> bearish candlestick formation and then it's going to break it's going to break the counter trend line you can enter shorting the market if you are an, if you are an aggressive trader aggressive traders work harder you know 
but they also make uh, more pips you know but it's hard work because if this market is going to pull back short term if this market is going to pull back and an aggressive trader is going to enter the bearish daily candle is still be forming is still going to be in formation it's not going to be close closed that's why we are saying oh those are the aggressive speculative traders you know but nonetheless talking about probabilities there is a big difference if you short the market in here or if you short the market in here would you agree everybody big difference in probability passion but why well simply because the market on the one hour chart it's not making any more higher highs higher lows but it did it crowned we're going to learn about crowns everybody but it crowned it made the first lower low and if the market closes a lower high and we learned about this then we are going to have a 75 percent confirmed downtrend would you agree everybody would you agree that if the market makes a lower high closes a lower high and breaks the downtrend line then we are going to have a 75 percent confirmed downtrend which is still risky we are talking about technical risk this trade everybody it's low probability it's for the aggressive trader of course but it's still low probability you know passion what should I do I don't know you know th there is no right or wrong if you are a complete beginner number one I would say please accept the concept don't short the market in an uptrend some of you are advanced right some of you are trading for one two three four five years so maybe you have more experience but if you're a complete beginner everybody don't short bearish candlestick formations in an uptrend it's simply as that and he says I agree you know and remember everybody that so king when is the right time to answer i don't remember if salbak your time to shine said the right the right place to enter and we are talking about probabilities would be where the short term change where the short term trend is changing direction so king you need to wait for all of this you need to wait for the market and this is Miguel what Miguel said you need to wait for the market to start making lower lows lower highs and break this low you need the market must break this low when the market is going to break this low on the daily you are going to have a change in the short term trend on the daily chart and this is going to increase the probabilities that the market is maybe changing you know the markets may be changing the, the trend and again we don't know what is going to happen because the market made a higher high on the daily and on the weekly but time to time to time the market does this is make a higher high and then it continues its structure way but sometimes not sometimes going to do what the yellow line is showing sometimes the market is going to make a retracement and then it's going to push up to the next pivot point so what we are trying to learn as beginner traders number one learn the rules and the concepts number two execute the rules and the concepts and try to 
learn to think in probabilities and also again if you are an aggressive trader you are going to enter this counter trend line on the one hour chart but the daily candle is still be forming so this entry it's aggressive yes so so what is the probability well it's more or less because yes we have a lower low on the one hour chart but if our confirmation time frame is the daily again we are entering prematurely also here now there is no right or wrong because there is nothing wrong everybody if you if you say to yourself well I am an aggressive trader and this is I know that I'm entering prematurely but because I'm aggressive I think this is this is going to be the pullback of the market so I know that I'm entering without the confirmation time frame which is not okay but still you are doing you are you are making a conscious decision about this and if the market breaks the counter trend line and then goes up and stops you out then you say well I took this chance you know and I'm okay if the market stops me out so it's all about con conscious decision that we make as beginner traders okay but word of advice everybody if you do this once and you lose twice you lose three you lose you should maybe start thinking well next time oh but i'm on a demo account it doesn't matter you are forming habits on a demo account and if you say oh it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it does because you are forming the habit you know so if you are losing one setup two three four five or whatever maybe it's time for you to start thinking well i'm never going to get there you know to buy my porsche ferrari or whatever helicopter or spaceship whatever you want and you are going to think well from now on i'm going to wait for my confirmation time frame to confirm to myself that the market maybe is ready to fall and I'm going to wait for to, to have a greater chance or in other words a higher probability okay so passion what about the winner that shorts the market with the counter trend line break and it wins this was an aggressive win it was an aggressive win you know and the answer is again this entry is totally different from this entry at 0 0.71 because technically speaking you know you had a 75 percent downtrend on the one hour chart and there is a concept not for the beginner trader there is a concept for the professional traders that professional traders know that bigger trends start to form from the smaller trends but this is not for the beginner because if the beginner thinks oh the bigger trend is going to form from a smaller trend then the beginner trader is going to do this kind of setups and we are not dirty we are not there yet everybody King says, okay teacher, it's noted I am patient individual and Dukas Copy has enough playlist to keep me busy, very grateful. King, choose one playlist, don't, don't go with every list, it's going to make you confusion. Everybody, don't listen to me and to Doc and to Vibehow and to Pharos and for, I don't know, the other streamers, you know choose one and study the other trader you know if you like the doc crazy doc you know stay with him and study his style you know but don't don't jump every you cannot do everything everybody it's go, I'm telling you it's going to confuse your mind okay now what else can we do as a beginner trader well we can project right and we're going to talk about equity management so 
let's go on the daily chart because it's easy to understand okay so if you're a beginner trader everybody you can short the market or when the market breaks the uptrend line or you can wait and short the market when the market breaks the relevant low which is this one and it's up to you you know you and wisdom yes this is great choose just one choose one you can choose wheezy you know he's a great guy i know him he's my friend you know so what we're going to do everybody it doesn't matter where we're going to enter we are going to talk about right now about equity management so let's say that we are going to enter or so we're going to have the, the we are going to have two entries right so entry number one is going to be the counter trend line break when the market breaks the uptrend line so this is going to be entry number one entry number one is going to be here and the entry number two is going to be on the next counter trend line break after the market breaks the relevant low so we have entry number one entry number two passion why don't you put the entry on the aggressive entry because i don't agree it's my opinion i don't agree as a teacher for the beginner trader to do these risky trades everybody okay if you are a complete beginner this is for the course 101 i don't agree you know you can do anything you want you can enter risky trades you know you, oh i'm an aggressive trader but i would prefer that you wait for the concepts and the rules that we are teaching you wait for the confirmation from the daily chart and again everybody what you are trying to learn and this is one of the lessons you should you should watch two or three times minimum and be conscious that when you are watching this type of lessons you are learning how to think okay it's not about the chart it's not about the trend lines it's about how you think how you perceive the market how you perceive opportunity how you perceive risk how you perceive the reward okay entry number one entry number two okay everybody so what do you think please type in the chat what entry would you choose and what stop loss are you going to choose and talking about stop loss we are going to jump from the daily to the weekly okay so we have now we are on the weekly chart and we have our two entries right we have our two entries so where would the stop loss go and I cannot help myself right on the weekly I don't see I just have the different pivot points right and I have a downtrend line okay so it's not going to help me I'm going to go back on the daily chart so what we're going to have well we are going to have different entries but the same stop loss right so for the trader who is going to enter at the entry number one you are going to have the stop loss here above the candlestick formation okay and the second one is going to be up in here and for the trader who is going to enter in the second entry okay so choose your trade everybody Choose your trade and type in the chat entry number one and stop 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 loss stop loss number three 
or stop loss number two or stop loss number one so clone oh, not this one stop loss number two and up in here stop loss number one okay everybody what do you think are you an aggressive trader are you a conservative trader Christian says entry number one and at the 10 pips above the pivot point level Christian no pivot points are areas everybody don't put stop loss on pivot point levels pivot points are not numbers Christian everybody you can accept what we are teaching you can reject but don't put a stop loss on the pivot point line pivot points are areas are not lines number one stop loss stop loss number three says Christian okay entry number one stop loss number one great entry number one stop loss number one entry number one stop loss number one Patak entry one above stop loss above trend line Patak why would you choose the trend line if you have a high any entry one stop loss number one Christian stop loss number three great everybody okay everybody so for every trader that is entering on entry number one if you lose if you lose why did you lose What is going to be the answer? We are not going to live and die on a trade by trade basis but if you entered on the entry number one and you lost, why did you lose? What is going to be the answer? We must make sense out of our losers. No lower low, exactly. What else? what else well we have past support right we have past support so as you can see everybody entry number one is still aggressive right because we don't know what is going to happen but if we want to be more secure if we want to have a Technically speaking, more reasons, more probability. Technically speaking, we should enter at the entry number two. No, I'm not saying that the entry number one cannot win. No, I'm not saying this. I'm just trying to explain to you how to think, everybody. And if you're going to enter with number one, because you expect that the market is going to fall, okay? And when the daily, the market so what's the difference in candlestick formation everybody is if you are going to enter on the entry number one and entry number two the daily chart is going to be your trading time frame and the weekly chart becomes your confirmation time frame so if you enter with the entry number one this weekly candle it's going to be maybe decision you know maybe undecision I don't know but if you enter with the entry number two you are going to have a bearish candle from the weekly chart this is the difference between the two entries so and we can check you know we can check so let's see more or less this is going to be the entry number one Okay, it's going to be more or less at 0 0.675, 0.675, 0.675, 0.675, something. Okay, 
So this is going to be the first one, right? 675 and the second one is going to be 648 something, 648 Six four eight six four eight something right can you see the difference everybody this is going to be one entry from the weekly chart this time this is going to be this is going to be one entry and this is going to be the second one and let's change colors take a, take a close look everybody and tell me what is the difference if you enter not on the daily because on the daily you have your reasons right but from the weekly time frame when you enter from the daily the weekly time frame becomes your confirmation time frame and if you take a closer look what's the difference and you can apply this concept everybody to every time frame Vincent prematurely well maybe yes maybe no you know if the market makes a bearish candle and then another one you know and remember that when we are talking about entering the market we are talking about the candle the blue one that is here moving so this would be your entry and this would be your entry what's the difference and when if you are going to enter this week everybody this blue candle that it's on decision right now yeah I cannot show you okay but let's let's leave it like this okay I'm going I'm going to put on the side right okay bear in mind that this blue candle in here is going to be here this would be entry number one if you want and this would be entry number two I don't know how to how to move the quadrant to to explain to you I said entry number one and 10 pips above the pivot point which means stop loss number one that you mentioned okay Christian thank you stop loss too tight maybe engulfing candlestick formation the second one on weekly yes but also the first the entry number one can be a bearish candle what's the difference the difference is everybody with the entry number one positioned like this from the daily and maybe it's not the best position but still from the weekly maybe you won't have a closed candle on the other side of the uptrend line and with the entry number two you are going to have for sure a closed candle on the other side of the trend line ok everybody our time is up see you back tomorrow with another lesson Please watch this lesson over and over and over again. Remember, you need to learn how to think, everybody. Entries and timing are a big problem. Problem is a bad word. Let you let's use the word challenge, right? So entries and timing are a big challenge for the beginner trader. Until tomorrow, stay strong and trade with passion. This is FX Passion, signing off.